He's been defrocked and shamed in the most public of ways. Joseph Veselovsky, the Vatican's former ambassador to the Dominican Republic, found guilty by the church itself of abusing boys. The authorities on the Caribbean island where the alleged abuse took place have opened an investigation. In my meeting with His Holiness, he opened the meeting talking about the subject and he reassured me that the Vatican would not be at peace until they got the maximum penalty, the maximum penalty that you can apply for the offence he has committed. So if they had have expelled him, that is the maximum penalty, expulsion from the priesthood and the church. For years, the Vatican has been accused of doing too little to prevent abuse by its own clergy. Earlier this year, the United Nations called on the Vatican to open up its files from the past. Since being appointed, Pope Francis has apologised over clerical child abuse and gone further than any of his predecessors. We're certainly making an effort to demonstrate it. I mean, he said that there's going to be zero tolerance for, uh, for people guilty of sexual abuse of, of minors or sexual abuse in general. He's made that absolutely clear and he's talked about the problems of the priesthood and careerism as well as all these sort of things. He's really taking a tough line on the status of clergy. Veselovsky now has two months to appeal. He could face a separate criminal trial and extradition to the Dominican Republic. Emma Haywood, Al Jazeera.